morning. Welcome to AISC's Asiac Music Festival. Let us be heard. Round of applause. <laughs> uh, I, my name is Mr. Ranson. I am the middle school associate principal, and it's my privilege to open the ceremony. And uh, I want to, first of all, welcome all of you who've come from outside of Chennai. Uh, it's really a privilege for us to host you, and we hope that all of the people that you interact with help you think that this is a really special place, because that's how we feel about Chennai and our school. So welcome. So many of you probably already know this, but the the earliest human societies came together regularly to commune over song and dance. And those songs first started out as, as just vocals, and, and later rudimentary in, uh, instruments were formed, and, and so music uh, became twofold. It had an instrumentation and it had a, a vocal aspect to it. And, and that collaboration was really important because it, it enabled us to tell stories that could easily be remembered. Those stories help people celebrate joy and accomplishment and also help them understand loss and um, process grief. And typically it was through stories with music that traditions were passed on from one, one generation to the next. And it enabled cultures to interact with each other, helping to figure out what they had in common and also to establish what made them unique. And so this weekend, you're participating in something that is, that is thousands of years old, right? You're coming together with people you know and people you don't know to create music. And what a special thing to be able to do and call it part of school. So let's have a round of applause for that. You have this great opportunity to showcase your talents, which you've honed with practice and rehearsal. And the, the key thing, I think, for all of you participants this weekend is to collaborate, is to find a way to help make your craft a little bit better by joining with the people around you. Right? And, and hopefully that collaboration won't just be limited to your practice time. Hopefully you'll, you'll find ways to connect with your peers from different places uh, at lunchtime and during breaks and during your host home visits because it's really through the connection that the power of music uh, goes to those next levels. And we hope that you are able to, to really feel, not just think, but also feel about the, the, the hashtag, let us be heard, uh, which is the theme for this festival. Uh, it's one thing to perform in front of an audience to, um, to demonstrate your, your skill or, or your art form. It's another thing to use your talents to help other people find their voice and help other people be heard. And so we hope that more than anything else, you take away some ability to connect with other people and help them find their voices this weekend. So that's the challenge for all of you participants. Uh, we would not be able to do this without the help of um, seasoned professionals. And there's, you have your choir directors which, uh, and band directors, which uh, you'll meet if you haven't met them yet. You'll meet them in a moment. But first, I want to introduce our two guest conductors. <clears throat> uh, first, we have Jonathan Stewart, who is currently the middle school arts head at uh, American School in Dubai. He teaches seventh and eighth grade bands there, but he's also organized and conducted numerous junior and senior fine arts festivals. Uh, before his life as a teacher, he was a performer. He performed with the Syracuse Symphony Orchestra, the Cayuga Chamber Orchestra, and he was part of a group called the Five Cents Sharp Bass Quintet, which toured the US and Germany. And our other guest uh, conductor comes to us from Taysom, and her name is Melanie Brink, and she's been there for 17 years. In her time there, she's done numerous things. She's, she's coached, taught, and tutored uh, students uh, of all ages, um, more than, more than 2,500 in the years that she's been there. Uh, she, she teaches about 200 students this year in grades 6 through 12 in Muscat. Uh, she was a guest conductor for AMI Middle School Mixed Honor Choir, and she's the annual, uh, she's the founder and artistic director of Taysom's annual Festival of Choirs. Uh, would you please join me in welcoming Jonathan and Melanie to the stage? <laughs> Yeah, welcome, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Welcome, Jonathan. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. So with that, I would like to formally uh, open this, this festival. Uh, we have a tradition in, in India of lighting the, the lamp, and Ms. Lee will guide that in a moment. And, and again, students, let us be heard is not just about the individual, but it's about helping people, all people, find their voice. And, and we hope that you participate in that and really feel that this weekend. With that, I'd like to introduce Ms. Lee, who is the AISC Choral Director. Ms. Lee, would you please come to the stage? <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm so excited to get this day started. I'm so, so excited for you all to be here. And a special warm welcome to all of our other middle school guests who came out to join us. At this time, I would like to invite our student representatives from our three schools to come up on stage and take their place. Come on over this way, over. So as we all gather together this weekend to share our voices, to bring our talents together, to bring our passion together, we wanted to um, mark this special occasion by the symbolic lighting of the dia, which represents the lighting of knowledge and the sharing of culture. So we have uh, from our three schools, Irvi and Anushri and Jejun, to light the dias for us. Thank you so much, students. Just the three. Up next, um, as you may have heard, our theme for this festival is hashtag let us be heard. And we have some representatives from each of our three schools to share what it is that they are going to be singing or playing for this weekend. I think it's really important to acknowledge child labor and to help these children who are stuck in horrible situations all around the world. Every child deserves to have a happy childhood and then a bright future. And most of these kids don't have that opportunity. Children need to learn more about art, the culture of art and the culture of music. Music is really cool and interesting and more music education have to happen. Music is peace and peace is music. People are just discriminating each other by just reason that they are different. I'm here to play music about discrimination that our music to be heard. I think it's domestic abuse and um, sexual abuse because it is um, prominent in places all over the world and affects nearly 81% of women. My cause that's important to me is women empowerment. As a feminist, I believe women should have equal rights and should be treated as equals. As Michelle Obama said, the difference between a broken community and a thriving one is the presence of women are valued. I believe that something that is really important is LGBTQ rights because no matter who you love, everyone should be valued. Thank you so much, students. We're so excited to hear you raise your voices and your instruments this weekend to play. Thank you. All right, you can take a seat. Um, up next, I have the distinct pleasure of inviting on stage two of our very own AISC teachers, Mr. Jason Kennedy and Miss Kanthi, who are going to perform 
a special Carnatic music performance for us.
One more round of applause for your teachers. And uh, that's, that's the end. Uh, if you're participating in the festival, please stay here. If you're not participating in the festival, just came for the opening, you may, you may leave now. We've got a couple of things to, to do still yet, so go ahead, you can file out the back.